Hello YouTube! Welcome to a new Scene Anatomy video. Today I want to give you a tutorial how you can map third-party plugins in Complete Control also without NKL support and so that you can also use them with your Complete Controller. So for this I'll make a little example here. So for example I take here the lovely synthesizer from Blamsoft, the Viking VK1 synthesizer, which is a free synthesizer, so you can download it for free but you can also donate for it, so the developer can maintain it. And let's take a different patch here. I take here, for example, the bright bass. So it sounds very nice here. And uh, normally in Complete Control, the software maps all the parameters via MIDI CC directly in the interface. So you go here to this knob here and you see he maps everything from pitch, uh, the mod wheel, the oscillators, the filter and much more. But of course it's maybe not your workflow or your setup you want to work with. So you can change this. On the right side here you go to this um, keychain here, you open it and then you we can delete it. Let's delete every page here and let's create a new page. And for example, I want on page one only the filter section. And for this, you go here to this uh, to this knob with this rectangle and it becomes blue. And also here it becomes blue. And then press only on the cutoff, spacing, resonance and keyboard amount. And maybe also, also here the mode. So you can switch between high pass and low pass or dual low pass. And then you go here again to deactivate it. And then our first page is mapped already. So with cutoff, spacing, resonance, and keyboard and filter, uh, the mode. And of course, you can change this also with the naming. For example, I can take here uh, filter cutoff, like filter cut. And so you can design your own knobs here. And this also appears on the controller for native instruments, what is here very nice. And from now on, you can control your filter directly from your keyboard. So it sounds very nice here and of course you are not forced to use page one for filters or only for the oscillators you can mix them also if you said i want also on, only on page one the filter and then oscillator you can put uh, this order you want and for your workflow and it's quite handy here so we can also create here a second page with a plus here we go here to the right side again and take here the envelopes and maybe on a third page, I take the amp envelopes, including the volume. And so we have on page one, the filter, page two, the filter envelope, and on page three, the amp envelope. So it, you can do this with all the knobs here and map it to uh, NKS. And of, then you can also save this preset. So I take here files, save as, Bus bright bus. Let's take NKS, and then our patch is saved. And if you want to recall it, you go here to the right side. So you can do this also on the native instruments keyboard. And now on the user library here, we go here to all instruments, and you can see here a new section with the Blumsoft Viking synthesizer. Press on it, and then you have here the bus, uh, bus NKS sound. Loading it, it will display automatically your um, controls here. And what is also very nice, it's uh, you can also add some attribution to the sounds or your types. So you go here to edit. And for example, I put here then it's a bass sound, so I make types bass sound. And it's an analog sounding sound, so I took here analog bus. 
we can also uh, change here the general so the product the type characters and the properties so for me it's only important here the types so bus and then unlock bus apply and so if you now search from your keyboard uh, a sound you search for bass and if you take now an unlock bass sound you get the result the Viking synthesizer with the um, patch bright bass so that's quite cool here because it helps you to find the right sound and of course you can do this with every uh, plugin you want I can go here back I can take also an effect plugin for example for example here frostbite that's a plugin from audio thing and also here uh, you have here the different parameters already if you don't want them you go here you can delete them and you can make new ones and so you have also mapped this already to your complete control keyboard and to the software and you can save it as preset and then recall it directly from the keyboard or from the software so you have now seen that the process is very easy and intuitive and but it's time consuming so if you're making this it consumes a lot of time because you need to uh, save all the patches individually and manage your, the different sounds, map them, uh, put some characters on it or the types. But what is cool, if you map one time the the knobs, for example here at the LFO rate, LFO depth and so on, these are uh, still there, so you can only save the preset new and complete control. So if you change here, for example, from Frosty to Cold Texture, you need only to save it here in the complete control and you don't need to uh, remap them here again and again. So that's quite handy. And so on you see, it's a really nice way. And if you're using the complete control uh, software and the keyboard from Native Instrument, I really recommend you to make this because it really uh, helps you to working with it. And please let me know in the comments below if you're using this and your workflow, how do you use complete control? So please let me know in the comments below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please post the thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Big thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon in one of my next videos. Bye!